In the last video, I showed you some of the smaller um, terminals and crimps and stuff. This is for some larger stuff. Uh, it's getting into your panels and your service sections, butt splices. Uh, that's a four odd, perhaps in your, uh, uh, if you happen to pull your feeders a little short. You got some lugs. Here's some larger terminal ones. This is for a four aught. You need a large set of crimpers for that. I don't have a pair to show you. Sorry about that. Got a bunch more butt splices down in there. Let's go on to this next one. And in lieu of a butt splice, this is most of the time, this is what I've been using. Um, it's, it's got a lug in there and you stick your wire in both ends and then you can tighten it down with a set of Allen wrenches and then seal it all back up. Some of these come lubed. You got some ground bar lugs here. This is more of a lug situation than, than terminals. Uh, dual lugs when you get into doing transformers and um, of various different things. You'll want to go with dual lugs. I can do explanations on more of this in detail. You guys just tell me whether you want to see more of it or not. Pretty easy going right now. Split bolts. There's a good size split bolt that goes, uh, they're saying 8 to 2 watt. I'm not, no, let's see. No, that's a Three at uh, MCM. That's a there's a split bolt. That's a copper split bolt. Got some cast split bolts here. That's for 250 MCM. You can put your lugs. You can put your two wires in there. Crimp them down. You can also do them end to end like this. So you'd go your wires in like this. It gets down to some small ones. I actually have some smaller ones somewhere, and um, to be honest with you, I don't know why somebody would use a split bolt. I know when, when I was doing car washes, the motors, um, the guys were really particular on that, and they made me use split bolts on all the motors. And just some more miscellaneous lugs in here. Some old crimp lugs for grounds. So not a whole lot on that one. Um, I can go into more detail later, but I'm just kind of doing a quick, um, let's get rolling here and kind of re-establishing myself uh, with you guys to get back out here and show you. So if you, if you want to be an electrician, I've got a wealth of information. Um, I'm not trying to be by the book. I'm more on the practical side and there's pr plenty of, uh, practical things that need to be learned out there. People just don't know, um, you know, what to do. That's, you know, an example would be, you know, these type of outlets here. You know, what's the difference between these three outlets? Um, residential, this is more of a heavy commercial. It's only 15 amp. This is a 20 amp. Uh, how do I know it's a 20 amp? It's got the uh, little sidebar in there on the neutral side. Also tells me right there, 20 amp, 125 volt, 15 amp, 125 volt, and uh, this is just custom residential. Okay, let's take a look at some of this stuff here. And what I'll have to do is I've got my top view up here, so I'll go through this first with the top view. Um, I just went through all my tools and just started getting a bunch of stuff together. Uh, we've got some socket Allen heads, paddle bits, miscellaneous driver bits, Allen wrenches, there's an arbor for a hole saw, saws all blades, testers, lockout device. Here's one of those terminals. It's uh, uh, it's already got the gel in it. So we'll take a look at that. I ran through real quick showing you some tools that I got up in this case. Some of these tools I don't use every day. Obviously they've got some rust on them and I'm um, going to be doing a video on that one too. 
But anyway, uh, I have a lot more tools, and some of them are not necessary, but they sure make your job a lot easier. So I'm going to go ahead and get that video put together, get it up here pretty soon. And uh, as always, I appreciate your input. And if you would, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, SparkyU Online. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.